as high achieving goal oriented physicians and nurses. It seems that we've reached the status by winning at some internal game we have uh, created for ourselves. While we continue to pursue success, it must be clear that to succeed, we must have a specific plan to get you there. Here at Medicine Revived, I want each of you to have, to have success, to succeed personally and professionally. And to achieve this goal, I create content that will help you become a better version of yourself. To do this, to me, is the ultimate goal to become a better you. And only you can create that definition. For some, success means achieving the rank of professor at your academic institution. And while for others, it may mean to achieve financial success and to be afforded the opportunity to retire early. To succeed, though, requires a set of habits, a plan, and focus. So let's get started. Number one, to succeed, you must start with your why. This is your job one. All too often, we get into our routines and don't even realize that you, don't, you did not even intentionally set these specific routines. Instead, the ritual grew from just going along with the process. Well, if I can channel Dr. Phil for a second, how is that working out for you? It's probably not, and that's okay. And I am grateful that you recognize that your, your current routine is not working and looking for, for change right now. So I'm here to help you, friends. If you've been a reader of, of Medicine Revived, uh, the blog, if you've been a listener to the podcast for some time, for some time that you know that I'm an avid reader. And Simon Sinek is in my top five best minds on growth and mindset. His New York Times bestseller, Start With Why, needs to be in every doctor's or nurse's library. It's a phenomenal read on setting your priorities with the simple question of, of why. His TED Talk is one of the most viewed ever. And here's the link. It'll be in the show notes. But as, as physicians and nurses, take the time to ask yourself this simple question and take your time with this. What is your why? Set aside about 15 minutes where you will not be distracted and pull out a sheet of paper and start small at first and zoom out as you go out, as you go on. And here are some questions to get you started on. What is your why? For example, why did I not exercise today? Why was I sure with my kids today? Why did I not journal today? Why am I not excelling at work? Why am I not happy at the work that I once loved? Moving on, number two, highly successful professionals, they don't procrastinate. Our, our, our brains are quickly drawn toward distractions and the bright lights and instant gratification. But it's, it's you know, if it's a nice text from your significant other or a, a like on Facebook that, you had a photo that you had just posted of your family vacation. The mind simply doesn't react positively to an upcoming difficult task unless you train it to. So remind yourself just to start. For the past several months, I've wholly embraced Mel Robbins' five-second rule. If you consider yourself a procrastinator, you must pick up her book, uh, The Five-Second Rule. You'll see it in the link in the show notes. Robbins mentioned that, quote, if you have an impulse to act on a goal, you must physically move within five seconds or your brain will kill the idea. So friends, if you have 20 minutes, take a look at Mel Robbins' TEDx talk. With over 22 million views, it has become one of the top 20 TEDx talks ever viewed. So again, the link will be in the show notes as well. Moving, moving along, number three, success requires batching not multitasking. The batching of challenging tasks into long interrupted blocks of time is foundational to achieve the practice of deep work. Cal Newport recommends isolating yourself for long periods, such as three to four hours of time with no distractions. This is, this is almost a monastic approach, but this approach includes turning off any pings or texts that you will take you away from your primary work. This must be done at least once a week but performing this consecutively for several days would be ideal. So if you need assistance on how to start developing uh, habits, see an earlier post on uh, achieving a physician wellness through powerful habits, and I'll put a link in the show notes for you. It's, it's, Cal Newport mentions that the key to developing a deep work habit is to move beyond good intentions and add routines and rituals to your work life, designed to minimize the amount of limited willpower necessary to transition in and to maintain a state of unbroken concentration. Again, I highly recommend Cal Newport's book. Number four, to succeed, you must take risks. When you are doing well in your life, it seems that you are 
unstoppable. We entered this field of study to be successful, friends. So chances are that we are going to be faced with failure. We must anticipate it and accept it. Accept it for what it is, an opportunity to begin the process of learning from it, the process of starting anew. After perceived failure, we can feel defeated or inadequate, and this can lead to negativity and doubt. But I challenge you, friends, I challenge you to learn from a bad experience and benefit from the fear and the paralysis it creates. If you succeed at everything that you are, that you are not taking risks, you are playing it too safe and not growing in your full potential. So it's, it's often well said that a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. That's from Franklin uh, Delano Roosevelt. So to become, a, so to become better at risk-taking, start small. In their, in their wonderfully written book, uh, Great by Choice, and that's by Jim Collins and Morton Hansen, he recommends fire bullets, then cannonballs. The bullets represent something that is low risk and low cost, whereas the cannonballs represent the much larger risks. So don't allow the risk of failure to prevent you from trying new ventures. The more you risk and fail, the greater your chance of ultimate long-term success. So the difference between average and extraordinary is, is your perception and your response to failure. Our negative perception of ourselves um, can ultimately carve away at our well-being leading toward physician and toward nurse burnout. Realize that failure is not an enemy, but a necessary part of our daily journey toward wellness. So use these lessons to incorporate in your daily practice and, and welcome, welcome the valuable lessons that our failures can teach us. Moving, moving along, number five, successful people rid small things with rituals and routines. And rituals are quite simply the best way to become, to overcome the temptation of going down the rabbit hole of these small, unimportant things. I've been a very loud advocate for daily rituals and I bookend my days with my arise morning ritual and my sleep evening ritual. There'll be links in the show notes for that too. So take the time to develop your own morning and evening ritual and consider this time sacred no matter what. It can last 15 minutes or up to 60 minutes, but find what works for you and your family. But this must be done. If you need, again, a template, use mine my morning and evening rituals. So if you're interested in developing your rituals, I've also created a free three video series to help you get started. Again, the link will be in the show notes. Number six, successful professionals don't compare themselves to others. So when you catch yourself comparing yourself to others, take a step back and ask yourself, what am I really good at? Most can come up with two or three things and don't restrict yourself to medicine, look broadly. Are you a good listener? Are you a good cook? Are you a good mediator? Be proud of your strengths and celebrate them. Use your strengths, friends, as fuel to propel you to create a better version of you. Only you truly know where your strengths are. Use them to your unfair advantage and your internal scorecard continues to improve. And your internal scorecard is something Warren Buffett always talks about. And finally, please remember that the only thing that you are better at that anyone else in this world is being yourself. And it seems intuitive, but this is incredibly empowering once you recognize it. Use your strength to improve and become a better version of you. You, you can't be everything to everyone, but you can be everything to yourself. So attention should be on this, my friends. So remember, rather than comparing yourself to others, compare yourself to what you to, to you, to what you were yesterday. Are you a better version of you today as compared to yesterday? If so, then you're on the right path. That's a win. Keep improving. If not, why not? What roadblocks prevented you from getting there? And again, fix it today and move on. And the final thing, friends, is the last thing, and number seven, is to succeed, you must be an excellent communicator. I spoke about this last week, but again, it, it bears repeating. And again, if you want to hear the whole show, there's a link in the show notes, but it does bear repeating. Communicating and connecting with people is one of the most essential skills that must be practiced to learn, grow, and to thrive in medicine. We often achieve the role of doctor or nurse because we've excelled in accomplishing a very specific goal, and you absolutely did. But to be great, to truly be great, to be a great physician or a great nurse, and by default a great leader, you must master the art of communicating. And most importantly, 
connecting with others. So friends, start today. Use the tips I just talked about above and start your journey right now. So until next time, friends, be good to yourself and each other. And remember, I am here to help. I'm here to help you. My mission is to give you the courage and the tools needed to help you learn, grow, and prosper in the important areas of your life. And that's personally and professionally. So if you're looking to get started and to begin your journey toward wellness, hit the, hit the links in the show notes and you'll see a free three video series to walk you through the first steps on this wonderful adventure. Join hundreds of other doctors and nurses who've had the courage and permitted themselves to deserve a better life. Let's walk together on this journey. And again, hit the, hit the link in the show notes and we'll get yourself started today. Yes, you can succeed at home and at work. All it takes is intent and a mentor to walk with you. If you provide the first, I will give you the second. So let's get started today, friends. Until next time, be good to yourself and each other. And if you're not yet a subscriber, hit that subscribe button below. and You'll get my shows every single week directly into your inbox. So have a great week and we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.